Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can resolve error code minus 48 on your ProSoft MVI 56E-MNETC. This technique can also be used to resolve the same problem on your ProSoft MNET CXT and this is what the module looks like. Okay, let's get started. Uh, let's launch the ProSoft Configuration Builder and open up the diagnostic but before you open up your diagnostic window your computer has to be on the same subnet as your prosoft module so once that's all set up ip is all good uh, and you're able to ping right click on your uh, module here and go diagnostic what this does is it opens up a diagnostic window and allows you to look at all your client uh, command status and all the values that you're getting so the client that i'm working on today would be mnet client 5 and if you go to command status here, you can see that you are getting the error code of minus 48. So in a moment, it will go zero like so. So let me show you what this minus 48 means. If I pull the user manual next to me here on, on this video and go to page 92, this is the manual for MVI 56E Mnet. I'll go 92 here. This is where you'll see that uh, error code here. I'm going to zoom in a bit here. And you can see that the... Uh, Minus 48 pertains to ARP operation. I know I've not set up any ARP on this uh, configuration here, so uh, oh, ARP is not a problem. But in a moment, you'll see that the command will go to minus 36 and then goes to 48 in a moment here. Right now, it's waiting for uh, the uh, timeout or retry period to expire. But uh, minus 36 means that mnet command response timeout, right? So uh, what it does is that you'll see minus 36 and goes to minus 48 and so on right uh, sometimes you'll just see all of this being filled up with minus 48 so um, let me explain to you what what the root cause is and why this error happens uh, so let me park this on the side here i guess it's not coming back on again but uh, anyways waiting for the timeout to expire Yeah, here you go. You can see that uh, uh, minus 36 is coming, minus 48 is coming. I've got about uh, six or seven uh, commands being set up in here. Yeah, so this is what it looks like, right? It's trying, it's failing, and it's trying, it's failing. So this is basically purely a communication issue. So in order to resolve this, how you do it is you, let's close this diagnostic here. Then uh, the problem comes from here. So you double click this guy here, uh, 9 out of 10 times or even 9.5 out of 10 times your IP address is not set correctly. So this is the IP address of your ProSoft, not your PLC. So my IP address of ProSoft should be 222, not just 2, right? So I hit OK. And then once that's done, you got to do a complete download here. In order to do a download, select your module. You can't just go to any of this client and try to download. It does not work. You have to select the module and then hit download and in a few moment a pop-up window will appear from here we can test connection make sure everything is good and then hit download i'm going to give it a few moment here is what it's going to do is going to download the whole configuration in this file it's a relatively large file and after that uh, it's going to reboot the prosoft module in a bit here once the module is running click on ok to close this and let's go online with the uh, with the ProSoft module. Right click on your module, go to diagnostic, and the diagnostic window will appear again. Go to a Mnet client again, client five. I'm sorry. Go to command status, and look at this section here. Uh, the minus forty eight should not come in anymore, All right? So it means that uh, the comps are good and your settings are good. Uh, I'm not gonna wait too long. I know this is gonna work, but uh, you can watch it for maybe two to five minutes there. Uh, and make sure that this is good. Another way to validate whether the uh, comps are good is to go to your database here. Um, the But before we do go to the database, we have to find out what number uh, memory location that we have allocated this. So go to client 5 here. I can see that the internal address, memory address that I've assigned for this particular poll is 1660. So you go to the database. You can either watch it in ASCII or HEX. I like HEX just because <laughs> but uh, anyway so you're looking for internal address range 1660 uh, for 10 registers right so uh, this is 0 to 99 so you're gonna have to scroll down all the way down 
right about here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 in a row. So you're going to be 660. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 60 in this range here. So you can see that your numbers are changing and uh, they, they are populating in there, right? So um, that's your 600 and 60. So some of the numbers might be coming as zero, but you can see that uh, they are all changing or updating in a relatively healthy way. Uh, because the reason behind some of the numbers are zero is because uh, the scatter pack that I hooked up to is not, I've not populated any values in there, that's why they are zero. But you can see they're relatively healthy uh, because the rest of the commands are coming through as well on the 80s range as well. And then let's go to the 1700 range. You can see they are all populating nicely there. And let's go to the command status here. Make sure there's no minus 48 on your command status on your client 5. And you will be good then. I hope this tutorial on, I'm going to put this command uh, error code here again. I hope this tutorial on this uh, minus 48 and 36 uh, helps you solve problem. If it does, please thumbs up and like. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.